kids, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here, if you're new here I'm Ellie. So, today I got my new phone, <laughs> um, it's the iPhone 11, white, 128 gigabytes, which is four times the amount of storage I currently have, 32, but I always, always fill my storage with photos, so I thought with trading my phone in this still comes in under like base model price normally. So let's just go for it. I did back my phone up to the iCloud. I'm going from the iPhone 7, this one. It's 32 gigabytes. She is really struggling now. <laughs> to put it lightly, she is dying. <laughs> a charge now lasts me about two and a half hours and I replaced my battery about six-ish months ago. And there is a sensor in the camera that's gone dead. So if I show you, if you zoom in, there's this little red dot, which is really annoying. So this is my first time ever having Face ID. Let's just open her up. That is so satisfying. I haven't had one that's done that before. Oh, it's stuck to me. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> I was kind of worried that it was not gonna be quite white and it was gonna be like either a bit yellow or a bit blue or a bit pink, but that's like, that's pure white. This is really big. This is so big compared to my old phone. Look at the size difference. This is huge. I've never had face ID either, so I'm really excited. That is the most satisfying thing ever. Power it up. Saying hello now. <laughs> Ooh, face ID. Continue. There we go. Cool. We're done. I think download from iCloud. Okay, it says it's setting up my Apple ID. So, in the rest of the box, obviously, signed by Apple in California. I thought this one came with a USB-C. It doesn't. It is a standard USB charger. So that really sucks. Get it together, Apple. This is still a £780 phone. Okay. Standard earbuds charging cable which i thought was going to be usb-c and it's not it's just usb oh it's saying hello and i can swipe up to open it's unlocked Oop. let me get this case out oh there's a little pull tab look how handy that is i kind of appreciate that so much this is just like a plain case thinking of painting it maybe there was another one that was going to arrive together but they didn't arrive together, so I don't know. It's meant to be here before Saturday or Sunday. It's like kind of flexible, it's pretty good. Oh, there's film on both sides. I can't get it off with my nails. I'm kind of stressed now. Ooh, ooh, we've got it going, we've got it going, I think. There we go. I feel like I've probably done more damage scratching it trying to get this off than this protected it from, if I'm being honest. I'll link the cases that I ordered. One is like a little yellow flower buttery one. This one is from Spigen. I've heard of them, but you know what, okay. Um, just like a protective case, basically. It does cover the camera bump though. It's meant to be thick enough to do that. And then these screen protectors, I'll link them down below. I almost went to put it on my old phone. That would not have worked. Cool. It just looks like a case. <laughs> so it's finished updating, it's saying hello again for like the seventh million time. So it's a bit later now um, and it's also clouded over but I've just put my screen protector on and it has like hinge stickers. So you align it, you unflap it, you do all the cleaning and stuff and then you know it's going to be in exactly the right place. I've never seen that before and I kind of think it's helpful. So, I don't know, if you're thinking about starting a screen protect company or something, <laughs> then put that in. I went through all my apps to check that they were all logged in if they needed to be. So there's quite a lot of clearing out to do. So, this is my lock screen. And then you swipe up, you're in. <laughs> so, first page is all the basics, all the normal Apple stuff. 
phone, find my, which I'm not gonna go on because you'll see my location and all my friends' locations. Settings, that notification is for Apple Pay and I can't get rid of it, but I don't think I can sign on to that. Camera, new in camera, haven't gone in this yet. OMG, I forgot that I could do that. And then you can scroll, so this is normal. That's wide angle. My room is a state, sorry about that. Let's look at this mess that I made down here. This is normal, <laughs> wide angle. And then I can zoom in up to five times. I think I can do two on my current phone. That's pretty cool. And then you swipe up, I think it is. Yes, and you get flash, is that night mode? Live photo, ratio, timer, filters. I never use them in the app. The camera flip is different. Let's test this front camera. Oh my god, this looks so good. And it goes wider. I kind of don't like that it looks so good. Okay, that's camera. Um, clock, I am that person that has about 700 alarms. Um, so that's great. <laughs> Calculator, contacts, calendar, reminders. I have different categories, I don't know if other people do. One, tablets is literally just for pill now because I don't have any other ones that I take regularly. Photos, I have a lot of photos. App Store, Gmail, uh, no, Mail, but it's got my Gmail on as well. Weather, maps, notes, you get the gist. And here is all the stuff that I really don't use. Garage Band, you know, all stuff that you don't need, ever. <laughs> Next page at the top is streaming. So my layout, I do the folder on the left and then the three most used apps in those folders I put on the right. So most used podcasts, I actually am not listening to them as much at the moment, but normally I like to listen to Pretty Basic, Emma Chamberlain's one, I forgot what it's called now. Anything goes, that's it. Call Me Candid. And then there's Youth Rising, which I've never listened to before, but I think it sounds interesting. YouTube, Netflix, Audible. I have some books on. I literally just finished listening to all the Harry Potters a few months ago. YouTube Studio, this is what you use if you're a creator to see what your stats are like. So my last video, Forcing a Glow Up, might not have been the last one by now, but that is doing better than normal. Disney Plus. I love Disney Plus, okay? Um, my little character is Perry because why would it not be? And then I've got TikTok, Instagram and Snapchat out. I don't really need to show you much of this. I've made some TikToks. If you wanna follow me, follow me, I guess. Instagram. Then in here I have WhatsApp, Bitmoji. I don't really use Twitter, but I mean, here's my Twitter, if you wanna follow me. I really never use them. Pinterest, I love Pinterest. It is so aesthetic and pleasing. I have loads and loads of boards. If you wanna follow me, do, what's my username? <laughs> I don't know, Ellie Kimberly, pretty easy. Then the next row is editing. So that's mostly for YouTube, some for photos. I use PixArt for like drawings, little, stickers and stuff so you just sort of pull in an image i use brushes most of the time and i like this dotted one Draw like a little heart or something subscribe i don't know you get the gist and then i use visco for all my instagram photos if i pull one in now most of them are already edited let's take this photo of ice cream that my dad wanted me to have import that. I use a recipe for all of them, which is this one for darker photos. G3 portraits, exposure up a little bit. The only difference between these two is the exposure goes down instead of up in case it's a really bright photo. So this one, I'd probably have it down. White balance on the warmer side, saturation down a little bit, skin tone greener rather than pink, I wanna say. <laughs> Grain a little bit on just because, you know, then save it to camera roll or post to visco. You just do both for the sake of it. Fonto, this is also for YouTube. I'll just pull in a plain image. Then it's use. It's got some cute little fonts. Um, 
I've downloaded some. I got this off of dafont.com. It's just free fonts, basically. Um, I use this for my thumbnails for the text. So once I have added that, added the doodles and stuff, um, and collaged them together. Then Canon Camera Connect connects to my camera. Not doing that right now. It's kind of a faff to use. I'm not gonna lie. Photo Grid. This is probably one of the best ones I've used for this. I don't have PicMonkey, but it's really good because you can actually delete the watermark, and I find that really useful. Then you can size stuff up, move it, twist them around. I think you can do rotate stuff like that. I don't know, it's pretty, pretty nice app. I would recommend it. And then Nietzsche, um, that's kind of cute as well. You just take photos and you can sort of drop them in. And it like, it's sort of like a collage type thing. So you can move them about and they look like little Polaroids and you can change how they look. I don't know, it's cute. I made background with it once, but then I never really used it again. It's kind of cute, I would use it to be honest, different backgrounds. You can have the photos just normal or black or like ripped edges, dots around the edge. It's pretty cute, okay? I would recommend it just to play around with. Countdown, that's got people's birthdays and stuff on and like events and stuff. Obviously there's no events at the moment. Habit, use it to track my bullet journal if I'm eating good. I haven't been using it lately though. I read yesterday. I know that much. So I'm not very on top of it, so they're not accurate at the moment. Clue is for the ladies out there. Put my pill in. We're good. Water reminder. I kind of use this. Not really. Just because I have to have at least, at least two litres a day, preferably three or four because of my condition. Um, Life Sum, also use that to track my diet, to track fibre and stuff. Don't really use it that much either. Bottom row is school, so Quizlet, that's just little quizzes and stuff. Spanish, let's go. Free time, I guess. So there's little flashcards like this. Hope I've got them right. Um, you can learn, right, let's learn. Fish, El Pescado, Skateboard, oh god, El Monopatin, yep, Butter, La Mantequilla, yep, El Perrito Caliente, I hope my pronunciation is good, that'd be embarrassing. Files, I really don't use it that much, all I do is I download fonts basically, I think in here I've just got fonts pretty much, yep, just fonts, I accidentally saved the same one like 700 times. Class charts, I'm not going to go on because it has like teachers names and stuff, but that is what our school is sending homework on. And they used for homework before, which rendered our plan as useless, but it's all good. And then memorize is also for languages. It's just slightly different in that you don't type them in yourself. Let's do a review. Spanish work and education. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have volume up. Oh, I just screenshot. I'm really not used to these controls yet. I keep screenshotting. What? Well, that's I I don't know what they're saying. Scribsy is for a notebook that I have. I'm not sure where it is, but you like scan it and then it saves your notes. I've only used it for history. Here's a little thing. Let's hope it's a good page. So you can do subject category and then break that down and break that down. It's not loading. Chartus, here we go. My handwriting doesn't look like that anymore. I don't take notes like this anymore, but I used to. So if I use it, I won't be using it for exactly the same thing. Desmos is for maths, it's for graphing. So X equals Y equals X, there you go. There's a graph, boom. <laughs> you can plot points on it. Flora, I want to use, but I don't want to have to make a Facebook account because I don't trust Facebook, even though it's literally Instagram. So I'm probably being stupid but you grow little trees while you work so it stops you going on your phone. Pixel is also maths, I'm not gonna log into that because it has my school and stuff. Then this final page, top row is fitness. So there's like seven minute workout, catch to 5K. Calm is like a meditation app, plays different sounds and stuff 
and the different guided meditations and things. And then Headspace is kind of the same thing. 30 day butt, 30 day arm and 30 day ab, but I haven't actually used them in quite a while. The next row is apps I have on my watch. I don't know why there's literally just three. I feel like I've downloaded a lot more than that, but go on. Um, oh, it's because I've got some other, like my water tracker I have on there, life some I have on there, there's some other stuff. Um, notebook is because there isn't a notes app provided by Apple for Apple Watch. I literally have never used this, but if <laughs> I felt lonely in English, OMG, I think Alandra wasn't there that day, so I was just sat in the corner, like, oh yeah, there's a geography trip, so like nobody was there, and I was just sat there, like. So if I ever feel the urge to write something down and I don't have my phone on me, which is not that often, then I can do that. Activity today is gonna be shocking. Yep, that's bad, but on Monday, I filled my rings. So we're good. <laughs> uh, tracks like exercises as well. So Monday I did a workout. Let's see, here we go. High intensity interval training. Shows you heart rate and stuff. There we go, recovery. I recorded for ages, okay. Um, then there's the watch app, which is for updates. There are my screens. I normally have it on this breathe one. And then I swipe across to digital activity to see my rings and stuff. You know, updates. I don't think that's that interesting. If you want me to do a what's on my Apple Watch video, then I can do that. And then I have this game called Pong, which I can't show you because it's not on my watch. I can't play it on my phone. <laughs> and then I just have Yelp in case I want to review something, but I've never used it before. Um, and then I flipboard in case I feel like reading the news and I don't have my phone. But again, that's never happened. <laughs> Then I have games. Uh, I need to change around which ones are out because I don't really use Mario Run. I struggle with Mario Run. Fruit Ninja. If you've never played Fruit Ninja, I don't think you went to a primary school in the UK. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. I've lost all my progress though, so I'm kind of mad. Temple Run, again, if you don't have this, I don't think you went to a British primary school. May never have gone to primary school or whatever the equivalent is where you live. Um, just that. I love Temple Run, not that great at it, but you know what, it's all good. Then I have Minecraft, pretty good game. <laughs> Cut the Rope, obviously you probably know what that is. Monument is pretty good. I think you have to pay for this, I bought it ages ago. I literally can't pass this level, but like it's chill I guess. Come on, then you go across here, up here. I genuinely can't pass this. I'm so confused. I can't figure it out. It's basically like illusions and stuff. That's not a very good example, but I will. Rolling Sky Dots is okay, I guess. You sort of match things up and then if you block it in, they get squares, which whoever has any squares or the most. And then the final folder is just miscellaneous. Um, Elk, which is for my watch, actually, so you're in the wrong folder. Come on, get out. <laughs> but that is for currency, so when I'm on holiday, I know kind of roughly how much it is. I don't know what it's on US dollars, because I've never been to the US. Then I have Superdrug. I have a Superdrug card. I haven't logged in on it yet. <laughs> But just to get points, that is my bank. I am not showing you that. City Mapper is also for my watch. Wow, I'm not very good at this clearly. But that doesn't have it where I live yet. Let's just go Manchester. Um, it just has like bus routes and stuff. So you can see where all the buses are and things. Then the final one is my... Echoes app. I'm not gonna say her name because she's gonna come up. Alexa, how are you doing? I'm feeling more than amused. I've been learning some weird science facts. For example, if you removed all the space inside and between the atoms that make up the human race, everyone would fit inside a sugar cube. It would weigh a few billion tons and probably make your coffee taste funny. Well, that's interesting to know. The bottom, the one below this is weather, but I don't want you to see my location. So it's screen time, batteries, pill, all that. And then at the bottom I have messages, FaceTime, FaceTime, I don't know what to say about that. 
Safari. I don't use Chrome or Google or anything. And then music. I feel like people are definitely going to judge that. But okie dokie. If you want to follow my Apple Music, I'm an Apple Music gal, not Spotify. Sorry. It just has more stuff on normally faster, so don't hate me. Um, it's at Ellie Kimbo. So add me <laughs> and then you can see all my playlists. That is it for the end of this video. If you like this video, subscribe for more. Hit the bell so you get notified. Like if you liked it, comment what phone you have, I guess. That's it. <laughs> Bye.